find it, flip it, forget it. So I'm just finding a seller who has little equity, who doesn't have any equity in the house. And that comes from marketing, okay? So I'm going to show you a little bit later. And then I'm, I'm agreeing with them. I'm agreeing to take over. The, so, for example, the 100 round numbers, the 100,000 pound house, maybe we could chuck it on, chuck it on here, Joe, but the 100,000 pound house. How do you do the pound symbol? I can never um, figure that out. I'll say I'm just doing. It's like. Can I, can I just do a 100? Yeah, 100K. 100K. K. Or no. So it's LV? 100, 100, 000, yeah, that's cool. Is that okay? <laughs> what is this? Like a weight training class or something. So everyone jump. Is right. that okay? Uh -huh. Oh, with that's the... it. Yeah, and a little light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, boom. Oh. Give me a clap. <laughs> boom. Give me a boom. Give me a boom, guys. <laughs> boom. Right. Okay, 100,000 pounds, so that's round numbers. And then, for example, I'm going to say, say it's worth 100K. So I'm going to say I can give you 100K over, over a term, over, over a period of time. And in the meantime, I'm going to cover your mortgage and insurance, insurance payments. Because we can't buy it now, because there's no equity. We can't make any investment. We're investors. Why are we investors? We're looking to make money. So what so do we, they owe? So they owe, say, 100K. Okay. The round, round numbers, so there's no equity in it for them, right? So they don't have they don't have any other a, any other choice. Yes, they could put it up with a, an agent, but they're struggling. And now, time creates what? Uh, yeah, opportunity, but motivation. It creates motivation because they're now open to creative strategies and creative terms. So I'm simply agreeing to take over the existing mortgage debt for a period of time. Let's just say, for example, I'm going to give you some. Well, case before we, they, sometimes when you talk to sellers, don't you show them like the cost? If they were to sell this yeah. the traditional way, what would it cost them, right? Yeah. And so in the U.S., you can typically discount 12 to 15 percent off of what it's worth if they were going to sell it the traditional way through an estate agent, right? So I don't think the number is well, that big. Well, it's at 1.52 percent commissions. It's a lot more. So here, yeah, in. we we pay a lot more in commissions to agents. But here you could walk through what well, you're going to have closing voids. costs. Even with voids, if they're a landlord, if they're going to keep it vacant, um, mm -hmm. if, a tenant, if a tenant's going to keep trashing the place, you can say, you know, how, if it, you have to keep going into your pocket and paying that because you're, you're focusing on the pain because there's pain and pleasure. So what's their pain? So you, so you can solve that pain. It's like I use a doctor analogy when you go into a doctor. You've got pain. You've got symptoms that need solving, and they're prescribing a solution to solve that, and that comes from asking questions, identifying what their pain is and why they're looking to sell, but also, and that we can solve that of a lease option. And their pain is they can't freaking sell, because if they sell, they're going to have a shortfall to pay back to the mortgage company, and they don't want, a lot of people go, a lot of you probably thinking, why don't they just rent it? Well, they probably watched a TV show that scares the living daylights out of them. They don't want to be a landlord. They, they don't, don't want to be a, a long-distance landlord either. Yeah, they don't, exactly. Especially. They don't want to be a long-distance landlord. They don't want to have the hassle but the uncertainty of having to do the works. Or what if the plumbing goes? What if the roof goes? What if the boiler goes? And they don't have the money. Not a lot of people have two grand, three grand sitting around. So we can say, look, we're going to take that over. So we're taking over that debt for a period of time. So let's just say over a period of time of seven years. So I'm controlling that asset for seven years, but I'm not going to control. I'm not going to take it on. I'm just agreeing the terms, and I'm sure I'm going to show you some case studies in a second, and then we're going to uh, what is the um, what's the mortgage payment? So the mortgage payment would say it's two hundred and fifty pounds a month. I'm and what would it what would it rent? I'm for? actually going to show you. We've got a better example. Okay, so this okay, is one okay. of my clients. This is David. Has done like twenty eight lease options in four months. Uh, sold within two hours. So these things freaking fly quick. So, for example, maybe we can chuck that up, up, up on there as well. So he packaged it for five grand. This deal was um, option term was four years and eight months. So that's how long he agreed to control that property. Let's just say five years, round it up. He's, controlled, he's agreed to buy it at 53 grand any time within this option term here, any time within the four years. The monthly fee is the buildings insurance and the mortgage payments that you're agreeing to take over. So that calculates here to £202. However, the rental in the area is £450. So there's £250 positive cash flow. So that sounds good, right? He's just, and, and how, think of the difference in that lease option and you do, putting down a 25% deposit just to still get the same. You're not putting any money down. 
I mean, this strategy is amazing. Like, I said, what I'm talking about, I'm like, it's such a powerful strategy. But he decided to flip that. So he, he sold it within two hours on my Leads Option Deals group, which is a great way in, in which to sell it. He got a five grand sourcing fee. But why would, why would they do that? So think about it. Why would an investor buy it? Well, it's a good, it's a, it's a decent house. But also, it sold in 2010 for 70 grand. So there's actually some equity in the property as well. There's a little bit of equity in the property for that landlord. So they got 250 pounds cash flow every single month over a, f over a five year term, but also an ex some equity. So when they sell it, they're counting on capital appreciation. So you, I'm gonna show you the difference between you building a portfolio and flipping it is just your choice. What do you wanna do? Do you wanna flip it, find it, flip it, forget it, and move on, rinse and repeat? I need to get some hair salon chains, I think, with that rinse and repeat. It just uh, feels so good, so, which is awesome. And uh, oh, I love flipping deals. Like, me and George always joke around. I love, like, George is, wants to keep more deals. I love flipping deals, but it is smart to keep deals as well. But that is the beautiful thing about these options.